Hi, I'm Brian with Florida Spirit Vacation Homes. Thank you again for choosing to stay with us and we hope you have a wonderful stay in our property. Today, we're gonna to talk about pool heaters and spots. When staying in a vacation rental home here in Central Florida, it's important to understand how the pools operate, the spas, and more importantly, the pool heaters. If you're staying in one of our homes and your pool area has something that looks like this, this is what we call a spa here in Central Florida. The spa itself is not a jacuzzi, but it does have its jets and it does heat up higher than the pool. What's very important to understand, here in Central Florida, our pools and spas actually share the same pool heater. When the pool is functioning, what we call pool mode, where the water in the spa is slowly cascading over into the pool, the pool heater is heating both the spa water and the pool water to the same temperature which is usually about 84 to 86 degrees. When we activate the spa, the pool itself will stop operating and functioning. The water in the spa will drop down and now the heater will only be functioning on the spa itself. To activate the spa at your vacation rental home, you will have a simple egg timer. Simply by turning this egg timer, the pool equipment will automatically know that we're going into spa mode the pool itself will stop flowing and functioning. The spa will activate and start bubbling and the heater will now focus on heating the spa to a higher temperature of about 102 degrees. A few things to please keep in mind. In Central Florida, most of our pool heaters are electric, which means they're a heat pump and they utilize the heat in the air temperature to heat the water. So if we are having a colder time of year, midwinter, and the ambient or average air temperature drops below 60 some degrees, that's gonna dramatically negatively affect the pool's ability to heat. Also another thing to please keep in mind is while utilizing the spa, the pool is not filtering or running. So please make sure to not continuously run the spa because over a period of time, you will cause the pool to not only get colder, but you may actually cause the pool filtration system to not clean the pool properly for you. One of the important things to please understand, and we do share guest potential concerns with this, many times we are turning on the pool heater the day of your arrival. So you're checking into this home, say four o'clock in the afternoon, that morning or even that afternoon, we're inspecting the house, preparing it, wiping down patio furniture. We are turning the pool heaters on at that time. In most cases, it will take a few hours, if not 24 hours, for you to feel a noticeable difference in the water temperature. Another very important part is that the heater runs when the pump is running. The pool's pumps are set on a timer to operate from about 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. We do that to maximize daylight and warm air temperatures to get the most efficient heating of your pool. If you have a spa and when you activate it with the egg timer, that does override the pool pump timer. So if you wanted to come out and use the spa, say 10 o'clock at night, we would recommend around nine o'clock, come out, turn it on, even though the pump's off, you'll hear it kick on. The spa will activate and it'll start heating up for you if you want to get into it about 45 minutes later. Just a quick reminder, if you have any questions, contact our office. We are available to help you. Please, under no circumstances do we ask you to go touch the pool equipment or tamper with anything over there. Doing so may cause the pool to not only not properly filter or heat correctly, but it may actually damage equipment that could result in a charge to yourself. Thank you.